Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Rafael Vaganyan and Albin Planins that was played in Hastings in 1974. Vaganyan had the white pieces and he started with d4. Planins played knight to f6, c4, c5, knight to f3. So instead of that one, d5 is possible. Then we would have Benoni defense. But Vaganyan played knight to f3. Pawn takes pawn. Knight takes on d4. Vaganyan is playing English opening. Since the game is played in England, Vaganyan wanted to make friends with the crowd and played the English opening. Just kidding. He played English opening even in Russia. e6. Knight to c3. Bishop to b4. Pinning knight. Knight to b5. Planins castled kingside. a3. Bishop takes knight. Knight takes bishop. After eight moves, black castled and developed his knight to f6. And white only developed knight to c3. d5. Bishop to g5. Pinning knight. h6. Bishop takes knight. Queen takes bishop. Pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, queen takes on d5, and white is a pawn up. But he is not very close to castling. He has to play e3 or e4, develop bishop, and then castle, unless he wants to castle queenside. Rook to d8, no chance to castle queenside now. Queen to f3. White would be happy to exchange queens. Queen to b6. Rook to d1. Rook takes rook. Knight takes rook. Knight to c6. Queen to e3. Again, white wants to exchange queens. If queen takes queen, then knight takes on e3, and white is happy. Instead, Knight to d4 was played by Planins. Very good move. Threat is knight to c2 for king, king and queen. Queen to e8, check. King to h7. e3, attacking knight. Check. King to d2. And this is critical position of the game. It is black to move. Black would love to play bishop to f5, but then queen takes rook. How to solve that problem? Well, Planins decided to sacrifice the rook. He played bishop to f5. Queen takes rook. Queen to d6. This required some very deep calculation by Planins. It is white to move, and he played king to c1. Instead, king to e2 could be played. Then the game would continue like this. And please note, this variation is not written in the stone. You may find different moves for white and black, just to show you that king wasn't safe on e2. And after, say, bishop to e2, this is even possible. Knight to d4, and after pawn takes knight, queen to b3, king to f4, check, and checkmate. That could be another variation that leads to checkmate too. In the game, we have king to c1, and uh, looks like that king is safe for a moment. White has to bring his queen in the game, 
develop bishop and he'll be alright. Hmm, but it's not that easy. It is black to move. How would you continue if you had black pieces? Planins found this beautiful move, knight to a1. Threat is knight to b3. Check mate. Waganian found queen takes pawn on b7 and it looks like that the problem is solved. Queen is now controlling b3. Planins, who had black pieces, made a move and white resigned. If you wish you can pause this video and you can try to find the winning move that black played in this position. Ready? Did you find the winning move? Have you seen this? Queen to c6. This is also winning. Planins played queen to c7. This is check. Attacking queen. White resigned. If queen takes queen, then knight to b3. Check. Mate. This game is a spectacular demonstration of how a lead in development can lead to a devastating mating attack. Beautiful attack. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.